Hello, it's Bill again. And today I'd like to talk about quantum spin for fermions. So as many of you probably know, matter particles have a strange property that you have to turn them 720 degrees before they look the same. So if you think of like about an arrow, you have to turn an arrow 360 degrees. And when you do, it appears the same. But somehow matter particles are different. You have to turn them two entire revolutions 720 degrees uh, before they appear the same. So in our model of gravity, we talk about host particles and guest particles. A host particle is a particle at the center of its observable universe. And guest particles are all the other particles in that given universe that are encoded on the host particle's cosmic horizon. So to me, it starts seeming that spin is related to host-guest relations. 360 degrees for the host, 360 degrees for all the guest expressions in other hosts' universe. And this is the way that a host particle can communicate with guest particles on other host particles' cosmic horizons. So um, it's still sort of a hunch, but uh, it makes a lot of sense. I was looking at some of the Schrodinger equations that come out of it, and it doesn't violate anything. Um, it looks like it might be a new way to describe things that you can't describe a matter particle completely on its own. Um, it's a relational entity, so you have to describe it relationally. And I just want to cover one more thing about the special relativity video. Um, now, in that video, we had... Uh, Alice was 11.18 billion light years away from Klaatu and his star. And because Alice was that far away, that star is receding at point 8C. So if Alice flies at point 8C, she's matching recessional velocities with that star. Now what it appears like to Alice is since local things are flying by here, it looks like Alice is flying around and her cosmic event horizon is the gravitationally dragging that star away as she moves. So that's what it looks like to Alice because things are moving by her in her own space, but actually Alice's space at the very fringe of space is very different because the cosmic horizons have uh, caused such a relativistic environment. They have such high gravitational amounts. So Alice does not really move with respect to her event horizon. Her cosmic horizon is fixed. It just appears like she's moving and dragging that star. But technically, the reason why she can't make progress to that star is, well, her cosmic horizon. But also, Klaatu's cosmic horizon is keeping Alice from making any progress. She's flying at precisely the speed to keep from being dragged back across Klaatu's cosmic horizon. So movement is very strange. Movement only happens locally, but at the fringes, uh, information just recedes and there's uh it's just the energy from the cosmic event horizons gravitating information away and expanding the universe so anyways i wanted to drop this because uh, i think the 720 spin idea makes some sense and i'm going to try to dig into it a little further and we'll see what we can uh, dig out um, if you haven't watched my uh, playlist please check out the playlist it really describes gravity and entanglement and entropy and dark matter possibly um, a lot of good information there and uh, anyway just want to let you know gravity's for the masses and have a great day bye bye